Hello people, I am Jabby Koe, joined by Jar Kirk. Hi there! We're looking at another Ashish Chanchalani video. This is a follow-up to the previous video that we reacted on from Ashish Chanchalani for Avengers Infinity War. This is for Avengers Endgame, the premiere with Ashish Chanchalani. And so, uh, very much enjoyed that previous one. If you haven't had a chance to watch it, if you're watching this on the YouTube app, there should be a little, um, what do you call that? Card that shows up, a little whoop thing. And uh, at the end of this video, there will be a, a card as well. And there's a link in the description, I'm sure of it. Because Achara always does her job. Not throwing you under the bus. No pressure. Just under a truck. Just Bye. Under a truck. Just under a bulldozer. Thank you, Ashish Chanchalani, for allowing us to react to this. Very, very much appreciate it. And here we go. I'm not sure if I'm going to see Iron Man again on screen. So this first time experience is going to be crazy. It's going to be emotional. So I cannot wait. बीच में ना फालतू ऐसे शॉट्स आएंगे दो तीन जिसमें मैं ऐसे प्रेटेंड करूंगा कि ऐसे मैं ब्लॉगर हूं तो जादू अगर तू ये वीडियो देख रहा है बेटा ब्लॉगिंग मैं दिखाऊंगा अभी तेरे को गंदे गंदे शॉट ऐसे हिलते हुए कैमरा ये वो देखो देखो ये एयरोस्टेस उधर पे कैप्टन अमेरिका इधर ही झमेला था अभी एक बड़ा सा शॉट लूंगा जिसमें मैं अपनी रहीस ही दिखाऊंगा पैसा 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 तो गाइस अभी हम लॉस एंजेलिस में लैंड हुए हैं या या घंटे ट्रैवल करके दिन में ही पहुंचे एंड सच्ची बता रहा ऐसा लग रहा है टाइम ट्रैवल किया है मैं बहुत थक गया हूं मेरी बम नम हो गई है लेकिन जिंदगी में जरूरत है एंड मैं अभी आपको थोड़ा जानबूझ के दिखाऊंगा कि मैं लॉस एंजेलिस आया हूं राइट बाय एलएएक्स इसनेट थेनोस तो मैं होटल आ चुका हूं मेरे को खिड़की के ऊपर तक आवाज आ रहा है ठीक है अब तो बहुत पब्लिक आई है पब्लिक इधर आए लिए बाहर क्यों क्योंकि उनको पता चला है स्टार लॉर्ड इधर ही बैठा है जब से इनको पता चला है स्टार लॉर्ड इधर आया है पब्लिक सुबह से चप्पल आड़ी वीड़ी सब हाथ में लेके बैठी हुई है अरे भाई वो पिक्चर दी ऐसे ऐसे भड़को मत अच्छा आदमी प्यार में था ठरक था जाने दो भाई ये देखो हम लोग इधर आए हैं यहाँ पे पिन से लेके पेन इस तक सब कुछ मिलेगा ये है यहाँ का मंगल बाजार ये है यहाँ का हीरा नंदानी मॉल और ये है यहाँ का सस्ता यूट्यूबर वेल आज वो दिन आ गया है जब मैं एवेंजर्स एंड गेम देखूंगा लेकिन मैंने सोचा कि पिक्चर में जाने से पहले मैं कुछ मस्ती करूँ बहुत मजा आएगा आप ये वाला सेक्शन जरूर देखना पब्लिक के पास तो घमंड भी तो आता है ना और एक बात बोलू मैंने टोनी भाई को बोल दिया मैं आपके साइड ही हूँ मैं कैप्टन भाई के साथ है ये देखो टी शर्ट किसका पहना ये देखो क्योंकि भाई मैं आपके साथ हूँ ये देखो टी शर्ट किसका पहना ये देखो कैप्टन अमेरिका का पता है मेरे को क्यों क्योंकि कैप्टन अमेरिका ने मेरे को पचास रुपए दिया बोला मेरा टी शर्ट पहन के घूम सबको बता मेरे साथ अभी क्या है नंगा आदमी है नंगा बदन रखने के लिए कुछ तो कपड़ा चाहिए तो टी शर्ट पहन लिया लेकिन दिल से अपन आपके साथ है टोनी भाई आप मेरे इंस्पिरेशन हुए बॉडी वीडी देख के बहुत इंस्पायर हुआ उखाड़ा कुछ नहीं पता है लेकिन अमेरिका में भड़क है लेकिन टोनी भाई कड़क है अभी जाने दो अच्छा लोग बनो और आपस का लफड़ा खत्म करो ठीक है अभी चलो हैंडी शेकी करो गुड बॉयज बनो और आगे बढ़ो अभी ये पप्पा एवेंजर के लफड़े में बच्चे एवेंजरों का क्या होगा मशीन लंगड़ा हो गया बक्की लूला हो गया और काना हो गया अरे क्या मजाक बना के रखे वो बेचारा गरीब विजन पूरे इन्फिनिटी वॉर में टीवी के मरीज की तरह बेड पे लेटेला पड़ता था बेचारा <laughs> उसके साथ कितना अन्याय आपको पता है बेचारा पहली पिक्चर में ट्रेन से गिर गया मर गया उसका हाथ कट गया फिर उसको जिंदा किया विलन बना दिया फिर जब तक बेचारा हीरो बनने जा रहा था सिविल वॉर हो गया फिर उसको सुनाया फिर उठाया साल इन्फिनिटी वॉर हो गया अरे आदमी के दिमाग पे स्ट्रेस आते है वो बेचारा दारू पी के कोरला के गलियों में पड़ा रहता है अपने लोखंड के हाथ से लोखंड वाला में मजदूरी करता है वो आपको पता है मेरे को एक हाथ सूट दो ना अरे उल्लासनगर से अंधेरी जाने में फटके हाथ में आ जाती है मेरी यार नहीं थौर भाई थौर भाई थौर भाई बिजली का बिल किसका भाप भरेगा अच्छा थौर भाई अगर आपको स्टार लॉट मिले ना साले कोई 
घुसा जरूर देना उसको बोलना लाख के बाद खोखा है प्यार एक धोखा है ए भाई okay. भाई भाई। <laughs> देखो तुम्हारा स्टैचू भी नहीं रखा है क्यों इन्फिनिटी वॉर में आता है ना तुम अच्छा हल्क भाई मेरे को ना एक डाउट था मेरे को एक बात बताओ जब आप गुस्से में बड़े होते हो तो आपका सब बड़ा अरे नहीं 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 भड़को नहीं भड़को नहीं मैं तो जान बुझ के गुस्सा दिला रहा हूँ भाई अरे पूरा इन्फिनिटी वॉर निकल गया तुम साला भारी नहीं है देखो हल्क भाई अभी एंड गेम आ रहा है अभी ना जागू आप भी कम नहीं हो ठीक है आपका भी कम नहीं है और थे कुछ नहीं है तुम्हारे सामने एक चमाड़ मारोगे ना गाँव भाग जाएगा वापस खेती करने ओके गाई सो मेरी शक्ल से पता चल रहा है फाइनल दिन आ गया है जैसे एंड गेम देखने वाला हूँ देखो मारो लालो ने कौन सी गाड़ी भेजी है भाई के लिए इसे कहते हैं व्हाट के भगवान कैप्टन अमेरिका को मत मार रहा मत मार रहा <laughs> ओ, मत मारो oh, चलने का वॉर मशीन ले लो मत ले लो बट आयरन मैन को मत मारो प्लीज यू बी सो डिसअपॉइंटेड डूड मैं यहां पे बिल्कुल अजीब ही लग रहा है हॉलीवुड वाली फीलिंग आ रही है मेरे को अभी वो अभी मेरे को जस्ट सिंक इन हुआ जस्ट रियलाइज हुआ कि मैं एवेंजर्स एंड गेम देखने को फैंस 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 खड़े हैं इंडिया में होता इनको पता चलता का असली दम व्हाट राइट इधर नीचे छोटे भाई को भूल गए हाय आशीष आई लव यू यार हर लड़की का दावा है कैप्टन अमेरिका चावा है <laughs> उसके बाद हम लोग ने दस समोसे आठ गुलाब जामुन और छह मालपुड़े खाए मैं इतना खाया इतना खाया मैं चौदह करोड़ छह सौ पांच लोगो को लग रहा था की मैं इन्फिनिटी वॉर के बाद पांच साल से मर गया हूँ लेकिन सच्चाई ये है की मैं पांच साल से भैया आपकी वजह से आधे एवेंजर मर गए थे जीत गया और क्या सुकून और क्या मजा आया आपको ये फालतू की करके जरा बताओ तो देख भोपड़ी वाली अगर मैं नहीं होता ना पहली बात तो तेरे को एंड गेम कभी देखने को मिलती ही नहीं मेरी वजह से ये चौथी पार्ट बनी है और किसी भी बहन के टिंडे ने अगर मुझसे ये घटिया सवाल वापस किया सालों सबको पकड़ पकड़ के रॉकेट सो गाइज मैं अभी जा रहा हूँ मूवी देखने आने आई एम वेरी 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 एक्साइटेड मेरी बहुत फटी पड़ी है मेरे सामने से कितने सारे स्टार्स गए मैं आपको बता भी नहीं सकता आया मुझे एक फोटो भी मिल गई है एक ही है 
एंड में आई वुड फाइनली एंड दिस वीडियो बाय टेलिंग यू फैंस थैंक यू आई लव यू ऑल आप लोगों की वजह से एक रूम में वीडियो बनाता हुआ लड़का आज इधर एल में बैठा है एंड वो जस्ट एवेंजर्स एंड के प्रेमियर से आ रहा है इट इज क्रीजी थैंक यू गाइज आई लव यू सो मच सो एंड करते ही वीडियो मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट ब्लॉग या प्रेमियर आई होप सो फिंगर्स क्रॉस टेक केयर एंड याद रखना बिजली का बिल तेरा बाप भरेगा मैं दर चिल्ला नहीं सकता एयरपोर्ट पे हूँ ना Oh, this must have come out well after the. Um, yeah, like right after. Because that's a big spoiler, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On May ninth, twenty nineteen. When did the film drop? So he gave it a little bit of time. Everyone knew by that point. Right. Yeah. Because it came out April twenty sixth, and he dropped this video May ninth. The previous video, I I felt like was better because he was able to get the interviews and whatnot, and you saw his interaction with. Yeah, the people I and I did enjoy that one more. Yeah, this was shorter and more to the point. I guess he just couldn't do as much this time around. There wasn't any time. There wasn't any one on ones that he could yeah, have. Yeah, and he was vlogging himself. I think last time he got to bring his buddy. Yeah. Who was doing the camera work and stuff, and so yeah. this time he's all by himself, which makes it exponentially hard. Harder, yes, I feel to vlog I agree. if you haven't got someone else on the other side to hold the camera. Yeah, you're trying because yeah. the thing about it is you're trying to be present and enjoy all that stuff and create content at the same time for your audience, and something is getting sacrificed somewhere. It's really hard to be present and shoot at the same time. It's those are two very different tasks that your brain is doing. Yeah, right. And so sometimes what I try to do is like if I'm at a thing where. I want to videotape it at the same time. I'll just put the camera up and not look at what I'm shooting, mm -hmm. and just look ahead, so that I'm getting it. it, it you know. <laughs> yeah, you're just in hoping. real life, I, and I'm just I'm just banking on this is getting something important. I'll be able to couple and edit together from this footage later on. Well, he did that cool thing, which I think is a really great vlog trick, which you also did in the recent Jumanji one. Get all of the footage that you can, and then afterwards. Do something with a voiceover, yeah. or like just sort it out in post and create a narrative afterwards. You try too hard to figure that stuff out on the fly, and then you just get stressed out. It's like it's okay. Add a funny voiceover on top of it. I thought it was great. Yeah, I mean, he did a good job of that. There was a lot of him taking his footage and then just adding voiceover yeah. to it to just kind of mock himself. Yeah, I thought that was cool. I mean, he did good with what he had, with what he had to work with. He wasn't given as many opportunities for this one, which is. A little bit annoying. I can imagine he was a little frustrated. Yeah. You know, because he didn't get to do quite as much. And I'm sure that Marvel and Disney were like, yeah, so you have to do a vlog. And meanwhile, he's like, but, but of, of what? what? Exactly. Like, how do I, how do I make this interesting for my fans? Like, I don't have an interview with anyone. Yeah. I'm just like hanging out and going to the premiere. But I've, obviously, I can't show them the movie because they have to go watch the movie. Yeah. So I understand maybe some of the frustration that he felt. But it's such a cool opportunity. Right. And what I really like about Ashish and his vlogs is like. He's always so thankful to his fans, right? And he remembers where he came from, and he's just got so much love and gratitude for everybody who's helped propel him to where he is today. And I think that's lovely. My favorite moment in the video was when he re re recounted meeting Chris Evans, and Chris Evans yeah. gave him a hug, and just the way he recounted that was just like so much, like you said, appreciation in his heart for that moment. That's really cool. Like he's a true, genuine fan, and that that was carried over from the previous, like a year later. You'd expect that maybe he's more used to the fame and glory and all that stuff, and he's yeah. not, he, you know, gives less of a shit. But it seems like he was still genuinely a big fan going into this, and just as thankful. And he just wasn't given as much to do by Marvel this time around. I mean, Infinity War is a big deal, but Endgame was an even bigger deal. It, yeah, it was like <clears throat> the biggest deal in the world because I remember when when we watched it early, it was all like. Don't spoil the end game. No spoilers. Like, yeah. shh, keep it on the down low. Yeah, it was pretty blah, blah, intense. Blah. It was super intense. Yeah, we were fortunate to watch it early, but it was like two weeks early or yeah. something like that. And so I had to keep my mouth shut for two weeks. That was really hard. <laughs> what trips me out is 
He was in LA not that long ago and we could have we could have met him. Like he was literally walking down Hollywood where we walk all the time. All the time. We watch so many movies right across the street from Grumman's Chinese Theater. Yeah. I was trying to figure out which hotel he was staying in because I was like, okay, he's not in Lowe's, which is right next door. He's on the opposite side. And like for the life of me, I don't know which hotel he was in. I don't know why that matters. But yeah. it's just something fun when right. you, you live in that city to You're be local. like Oh yeah, I remember that. I know where that is. Yeah. I know exactly where that is. So exactly. it was kind of trippy to see it. Overall, it was still a nice vlog. I wish that Marvel gave him more to do. I mean, we, we've experienced this ourselves where yeah. you want to be able to provide the best vlog possible, but you're only given so much to work with, only so yeah. much to do. I mean, that happens sometimes and you just got to make the best of a situation. I think that he was able to make a pretty decent video out of the limited stuff that he was given to work with. Yeah, yeah. It would have been really nice if he could have had someone following him. I'm wondering why they didn't allow that this time Probably around. Probably budget. I imagine that they were just like, okay, well, this is our influencer budget. And he probably asked if he was able to bring someone else and yeah. they were probably like, no, it's yeah. just you. I mean, that was a business class That's plane expensive. ticket. That's expensive. That could have, that plane ticket easily could have been like 20 grand. I have no idea for sure, but like, it looked like an expensive airfare. It's one of those things where it's a fast turnaround because when, when they flew me out for Aquaman, I left on Monday and came back Friday from Australia. Yeah, it was wild. It was a very, very fast turnaround for a very long flight. And I, I can only imagine like he's flying for 24 hours or whatever it is. It looked like he was flying back almost the day after the premiere. That's usually what they do when, when you get flown out for these publicity things. It's literally like you arrive the day before, you barely have time to get over your jet lag. Yeah. You're expected to do all these things things, create content, and then the very next morning it's like, bye! Yeah. For any, you know, up and coming content creators who find yourselves in that kind of position, you can ask if you're allowed to stay longer. They'll just say that you have to pay for your hotel. They won't pay for your hotel fee, but they, they, they are comfortable with compromising and moving your date further yeah. out. So you can do that if, like, whoever, you, what, you know, if you're an aspiring always, YouTuber and you yeah. find yourself in that position. I only found that out, like, late. I'm like, damn, I should, probably should have stayed in Australia longer, especially now. It's one of those things where you don't want to spend the money, and then later on you're like, damn, I should have spent the money. Because, okay, the fires happened in Australia, yeah. which totally wrecked Australia, and then this current you know, global climate situation. Now that's even further away from happening again. Now I wish I had just spent the money to stay in Australia longer to enjoy that, you know, that time there, but... I mean, I think if there's anything I would say about that is money spent on travel is never a waste of money because travel is an experience that enriches your life. Yeah. So if you're able to, yeah. do it. Yeah. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Thank you, Ashish Chanchalani, for allowing us to react to this. Very, very much appreciate it. You guys, follow him on the YouTube and the Instagram. I mean, he doesn't need my help at all, but I feel compelled to say it anyway. Uh, he's at almost 17 million subscribers. He's at 16.9. And uh, yeah, follow him on Instagram as well. Check out a chart, Kirk. Instagram, YouTube, myself as well. Instagram, jabby tube. <laughs> jabby tube. <laughs> that used to be a thing. Did yeah. it really? I don't know. I forget. I think it was. I for it doesn't matter. Okay, so yeah, subscribe here if you haven't done that already and hit that bell icon. All notifications, please. That helps us out quite significantly. I am Jabby Kuwait. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.